Very well, then. I have a lot on my mind and, well, in it. Don't waste a step. Lord Gortash has been expecting your arrival. Please hold a moment. The Watcher's presence fades, but another takes its place. Confident, dominant, commanding. My most esteemed guests, we meet at last. I am Lord Enver Gortash. You are the prison bearer, slayer of the dread General Kethric Thorn. I welcome you to Baldur's Gate, my city. Of course, of course. My seal watchers are rather adept at keeping the peace, but not entirely suitable for polite conversation. Allow me to formally invite you to my inauguration. Make your way to the ceremonial hall. And now Gortash invites us to see us. Calm down, I need dear. a quick word. It won't happen. This is the armory. Not a bloody open house. Fists only. Now clear off. Trade. Do I look like a shopkeeper? This equipment isn't for sale. It belongs to the Flaming Fist. Mindless metal, Ragresham in my armory. Steel watchers. Stupid thing will probably decapitate me for cleaning the bloody mace rack. Finally, someone who sees sense. Strong folk wielding strong blades. That's what keeps folk safe. Not those glorified golems. I don't have anything fancy, but... You're welcome to take a look. Um, no, I'll give it a shot. Crannies. This fortress is a lurker's paradise. Would you not prefer basking in the sun, like a lizard, now that it no longer blisters your pretty skin? Best behavior around here. Understood? Flaming Fist Barracks. Authorized personnel only. Chamber. Lord Gortash is expecting you. 
Please make your way to the audience. Tash is expecting you. Please make your way to... If it isn't little Will's chums. I hope he hasn't been too much trouble. Heard about his father. The Dead Three's puppet. A travesty, really. He's upstairs in Worm's Rock, ordaining Gortash as Archduke. A splendid shindig, I hear. Perfect for crashing. Go on up. We'll talk after. And bring the pup along, if you can. I'd hate for him to miss the fun. Soldier. Sounds boring. Yes. Hello, my dear. Oh, darling, I'm not uh, it sounds. Well met. That's the s Lord Gortash is expecting you. Army won't be causing trouble. Please for make us. your way to the or audience chamber. Us. Kins people, Baldurians, and dearest Duke Ravengard. Thank you for joining me on this exceptional day. It's him, Gortash. <sighs> this is it. I can practically taste his blood from here. My father's here, Karlak. Cool your fires. He must not come to harm. Fine. I'll wait for now. But that prick Gortash is going to pay. A moment, please, my friends. An old acquaintance has come to pay her respects. Please, Karlak, come and say a proper hello. My respects? You're lucky I've agreed not to shove my boot up you! Ah, how I've missed your colourful turns of phrase. We must catch up, just as soon as I've had words with your little friend. As for you, I understand congratulations are in order. Thorm's defeat hasn't gone unnoticed. You're known for who you are and for that netherstone that you carry. The quakes are a clear warning. If nobody steps in soon, it'll free itself from the authority of the crown. I expect it'll start with turning the Sword Coast's infected. You among them. That prism of yours won't last indefinitely. Next, the grand design. The Mind Flayer Empire reborn. If we're lucky, we'll become slaves. If we're unlucky, well... Not the most thrilling of prospects, but it's a fate that can be avoided. If you and I come to an understanding... Together... We can still restore authority over the brain. Of course. Gortash always did have an eye for opportunity. There's an old wisdom. A brittle alliance can never be mended. It can only break. With Ketherick gone, Orin proved treacherous. Baal's chosen wants the Netherstones for herself. She only cares for blood. And your blood and mine are of particular interest to her. Her assassins hunt you even now. They are very efficient killers. Even someone with your talents should take heed. Orin changes shape faster than you and I change clothes. You know, she's tricked you before. She's targeted me as well. I'm well protected, but she's extremely good at what she does. If Orin obtains all three Netherstones, 
She'll plunge the coast into chaos and paint the city in blood. I can't let that happen. I want to lead this city to glory, not scorch its earth. I'd like to propose a pact, a divine oath sworn upon spirit and flesh. I do no harm to you, nor you to me. Furthermore, you'll have nothing to fear from my steel watch while our pact stands. Thorm's stone is yours to keep. When you slay Orin and take her stone, you bring it here, so the three are united once again. Together we rule Faerun as kings. No, more than kings. Gods. We rule as the absolute. And my father? Your father will do whatever you command him to, like any other subject in our kingdom. What do you say? Shall we be allies? I can detect no deceit. This alliance could serve us well. And if it does not, well, we need not honor it. Hmm. Let's be allies, said the viper to the frog. Perhaps a demonstration of why you need my help will motivate you to make the right decision. Your camp is compromised. One among you is an imposter, a faceless. Who, I can't say. I'd suggest a thorough investigation. You'll find I speak the truth. An imposter? But who in the hells? The faceless in your camp is like a knife at your throat. Remove it quickly. Or any alliance between us would be exceedingly short-lived. Even horror has a home. Find her nest and slay her there. For all its charms, Baldur's Gate has long had a cancer at its heart. A hidden temple devoted to Baal. That's where Orin became what she is. Where she worshipped and schemed. And now, it's where she hides from my watchers when she's not spilling blood in the streets. You're resourceful. I trust you'll sniff it out. If the trail goes cold, follow the bodies. It's not, but it will not follow new orders unless the Netherstones are united to give the command. When it finishes executing its current orders, it will be free to do as it wishes. That will be bad for everyone. The Crown's magic turned the brain into something the world has never seen. A nether brain. Its power is immense. Once it is freed from its shackles, I doubt we'll ever be able to bring it under control again. Orin is... elusive, shall we say. The grip of the Steel Watch may be tight, sand still slips through its fingers. And some conflicts are best resolved quietly. The people are cattle, obedient until panicked. You carry the stone plucked from Merkel's chosen. Besides, I'm not ready to call you enemy. At least not yet. Before you do, come and witness as I make history as the first Archduke of Baldur's Gate. Then we proceed. The Patriarchs await. Distinguished Dukes, Patriarchs, dearest Raven Guard, I will heed your call. A new chapter begins. Enver Gortash, swearest thou by Baldurin's blade to defend the citizens of Baldur's Gate from enemies within and without? I swear. Swearest thou true faith and fealty to the same, by word, deed, and decree, 
so that none may suffer? I swear. Gather guests. Grant ye consent. Enver Gortash, the council appoints you Archduke of Baldur's Gate. My friends, the Steel Watch stands ready. Let its blade fall on any who would diminish our city. And you, honored guest, will find me in my office above when you return. Do not come empty-handed. Truest of souls. Bathed in her light. There is a fleeting connection. Your parasite communes with his, then falls quiet. Father, my dearest boy, the hells have touched you, but you've come to me just as Gortash said you would. A true soul, no less. Father and son, unstoppable generals. You and your allies will usher in a new dawn. What is a hero? if not an actor for the greater good. Faerun suffers in darkness. Tyr has abandoned us. Helm's eye has strayed. But Baldur's Gate will soon burn bright, a beacon to light the heavens. Gortash and I will ignite the final spark, and that, true soul, is the greatest of goods. No, this isn't him. This is the tadpole talking. For a brief moment, uncertainty clouds his mind, then dissipates. The astral prism vibrates in concord. What nonsense is this? I... The prism quivers once more. Raven Guard falters. As I said, Baldur's Gate will ascend to Rill's first and only grand city. First comes a vision of terror, the city of Baldur's Gate taken by Lithids. But beyond the terror, there is hope. You see a beaming raven guard presiding over the sunlit city, applauded by the people. A people at peace. Raven guard is still alive, trapped in his own mind, just as I was. Have we finished then? So there you have it. Lord Enver Gortash in all his glory. What did you make of him? Yeah. Fucker always had expensive taste. I don't know how anyone in this hall could fall for this charade. Isn't it obvious what a chancer he is? And they expect these big metal monsters to tuck them in at night while the absolute knocks on the gates. If only they knew the truth. The Dead Three orchestrated all of this. And it's working. I wish this city, the people running it, were smarter than me. Gortash isn't their salvation. He's the monster at the gate. Incredible. To hear my father's voice speak those words, like a stranger wrapped in his flesh. But 
There's still a glimmer of him in there, calling for release. I feel it. I know it. I won't let the Absolute keep him. This is my pledge. You. A momentous occasion. I'm sure you agree. I've had enough, Mizora. What do you want? For your attention, little pup. Nothing more. And you'll be glad to give it. You see, Gortash has had your father relocated. To the slaughter, the way I hear it. Shit. Your dad's good as dead, pup. And to think there's no way to save him. Or is there? You know something. I know enough. I'll be in your camp if you want to work something out. Of course she'd stick her infernal nose where it doesn't belong. Of course she's dreamt up some risible scheme. By all the hounds of the hells, what is she planning? Certainly not. But she's as inevitable as Toril's path around the sun. We'll have answers soon enough. Mazora's gone to camp. We should speak with her. Until then, may my father keep safe, whatever coop he's been flown to.